Those with a desire to see North Korea have often travelled to the South Korean side of the demilitarised zone to take a peek across the border. But now their curiosity can be satisfied by looking from above. Curtis Melvin is a doctoral student of economics at George Mason University in Virginia. Google Earth is an impressive piece of software which lets, lets us uh, graft satellite images of the planet directly onto uh, a sphere. So we can look anywhere in the world just by spinning the world around. The Google Earth map of North Korea is very sparse, with few roads or landmarks labelled. But Melvin has made his own version of Google Earth for the country. He's been adding information, sourcing data from maps, books and the internet. Well, North Korea is a very mysterious place and uh, the people who have been there always want to see more and it's just not possible. And with this technology, we're really able to capture many people's experiences and bring it all together in one place. The small file, which can be installed on top of Google Earth, has been downloaded by more than 50,000 people. Some North Korea watchers are in regular contact, helping him identify unknown sites. North Korea blogger Joshua Stanton has been sending information on political prisons. You can see the places where prisoners have said terrible things have happened. You can see the fences and the coal mines and the barracks where people live. Um, you can't deny these things and fail to react to them when they are real. After exploring the site, a group of North Korean defectors have now promised to gather data from their community. Melvin says this will provide a more complex picture of life in the North than those images often promoted by the state itself. Daniel Wrenchers reporting for VOA News in Arlington, Virginia.